Hey guys, MCU Collector here with a new video, and this is the final video in the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Deadpool Wave 3 Strong Guy Build-A-Figure. This is the Build-A-Figure video itself for Strong Guy. So you can see here, I have them on all the different pieces, all seven pieces. So we'll get to it and we'll get this thing all pieced together. So first we'll start with the back piece and we'll plug that in. As you can see, there's four pegs, four peg holes, and they just plug in together like so. Uh, let's do the head first. It's on a dumbbell joint ball peg as you can see no hinge Pop that on sits on there nicely uh, Let's start with the legs we have here. This is the left leg. So we'll plug that in it just kind of Slips in you kind of have to force it a little bit it doesn't pop in or anything So he's there you can see he is tall. He's got little legs though And he doesn't even want to balance. I don't even have the heavy ass arms on there so that doesn't bode well for him. Um, here, let's do the arms. So here we have the right arm. We're gonna plug that in. Fits on there like so. It's a swivel at the elbow, that's interesting. And then we have the other arm. Port that in, just pops in nice and easily. You can see he's very, very, very top heavy, but does look really, really good. And he does stand nicely. So there he is. Now, let's take a closer look. Here's an up close look at the strong guy build a figure and you can see that he is very beefy and takes up the entire frame shoulder to shoulder. Um, it looks really good. Pretty basic, there's not a whole lot going on to the design but Hasbro did execute it pretty well. Um, it would have been nice if maybe the zipper or something was painted in but it does look very good. The glasses or whatever it is that he's wearing, nice silver paint with the red lenses, white hair, uh, teeth an off-white color but it looks really good. The sculpt of it I really like. You can see he is just is bald nothing going on there we get some silver paint on these shoulder pads here as well as this portion right here on his upper torso that is nice we get the red x there for his x factor uh suit silver paint continues on on the back of the figure um this yellow belt piece that is a floating piece there and then you get those bands down at his ankles so it all looks pretty good. I like it. I do have a hard time getting him to stand though. He is very, very top heavy. So part of that is he just kind of wants to go back. So it just depends on also the like the surface that you have him on. You know, when I put him on my, my dial floor, but now he wants to stand, no problem. Of course, it always works out that way. So just be careful of that. Let's zoom out and take a look at his articulation. Okay, so strong guy's articulation. He can look down. He can look up somewhat. You get rotation, of course, and then there's all kinds of pivot going on because it is on uh, that ball joint without the hinge, the dumbbell type joint. He can get the shoulders to go out straight out. You get a full rotation, of course. There is only a swivel at the elbow, and it is a single joint, which gives us... Uh, I would say just under 90 degrees as you could see there. It's the same on both sides, wrist swivel and they both hinge um, and they are both fists for the right and left. We have a diaphragm joint so he can pivot to the side that much, pivot to the other side that much. He can go back a little ways and he can go forward hardly anything at all but a little bit. There is no waist swivel so of course you get the turn at that diaphragm joint there. Legs go out that far apart, as you can see. Can kick forward that high. Goes back a tiny bit, thigh cut, upper thigh cut where the leg comes together. Double jointed knee. There is no boot swivel of any kind, but foot hinges down a little bit, but this band that's there on the ankle and that actually cannot really adjust around. You can move it up a little bit, but that's gonna hinder the hinge of the ankle. Going up, it goes afar and it doesn't get in the way. Ankle pivot and peggles at the bottom of the feet. If you guys are watching this video, if you guys watch the uh, Sunspot video and my Captain, my Pirate Deadpool video, um, the quality was a little bit lower on those. I just got the upgraded version to my video editing software and um, it was going fast, but it turns out um, it's definitely not an improvement because the file ends up being a lot smaller and then the video quality ends up being shit when it shouldn't be. So 
kind of pissed about that, but this one I'll make sure is not done. Um, I'll go be using the old software version to make sure that this video does look good. So now let's see Strong Guy next to some other figures. Okay, here's Strong Guy next to the X Factor members. Um, Havoc, Polaris, and Multiple Man. We have Wolf Spain, but it's more the New Mutants Wolf Spain, um, so she doesn't really fit in here. You could throw Quicksilver in, I just didn't get out. So again, I have an entire box and my whole review station filled with figures already, so I can't keep taking more and more figures um, out of my display because I still have to put them all back. Um, but here is the lineup. You can see Strong Guy next to um, Havoc specifically. Had a request on Instagram from Jason Ong. So you can see here, Strong Guy just absolutely towers over him as he should. So this is nice that we can we get a nice team together and you have all the matching costumes and everything. So I um, really like that we can do this. Now let's see Strong Guy up with all the figures from the wave and give you guys a ranking. Okay, and here are all the figures in the wave to build the strong guy, build a figure, bath. So we have Sheikla, the blue and gold Deadpool, which I mine did not come with the sheath that he was supposed to come with out of the package. So that's why he didn't come with one. So mine just didn't. So if you watch someone else's review, like if you go to E. Rivera's, you'll see that his does have a sheath. So of all the ones that I could get, I got the one that was missing something. Um, we have Sunspot, Pirate, Captain Deadpool, Black Tom Cassidy, Maverick, and Warpath, and I guess Jeff the Land Shark. My ranking for this wave, and I didn't give it much thought until literally just now, I'm probably going to go with... Uh, probably gonna go with Warpath number one, uh, Blue and Gold Deadpool number two, Maverick number three, Pirate Deadpool number four, Sheikla number five, Sunspot number six, Black Tom Cassidy uh, number seven. And Jeff Landshark doesn't count. So Black Tom Cassidy is the my least favorite of the wave. I don't include the build a figure. If I did include the build a figure, because it's not fair, it should always be the best figure. He would probably come in at number two, probably number two. So all the figures in the wave. You guys let me know your ranking down in the comments below. And before we head out, here is the Marvel Legends Stan Lee figure next to the strong guy build a figure and the size comparison is ridiculous. If you were to put it behind him, he just completely disappears. So Stan Lee is tiny compared to strong guy, just to show you how big he is. I had already grabbed Juggernaut out of the display um, so I could show him with Black Tom Cassidy. So here, this will be the only large figure size comparison I'm gonna give you. It's gonna be strong guy next to Juggernaut. So side by side. Again, strong guy wants to always kind of fall back. So I'll have them leaning. You can see that they are about the same thickness that way. Thinking shoulder wise, they got they're about the same width in total, so you can see. Uh, but a big, huge um, height difference between the two. You know, Juggernaut still quite massive and has humongous legs where strong guys got the little itty bitty legs. Okay, so final thoughts on the Build-A-Figure. I don't think it disappoints. People have been wanting him for the Build-A-Figure for the longest time, right? You go to San Diego Comic-Con, you watch those panels, everyone says, strong guy, strong guy, strong guy. One year they're like, oh, strong guy, yeah, nope, not gonna happen. So they kind of were like, wow. And I think that year was, um, they pro I think they revealed Caliban as the Build-A-Figure and it's kind of like, damn. You, you straight up denied everybody Strong Guy and you went with Caliban. And I think it was the following year that they were like, okay, okay, Strong Guy, here you go. So here it is. I don't think it disappoints. He does look very good. So you guys let me know down in the comments below what you think of him. I think he's great. Um, if you guys liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.